Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at a very important update that is hidden from most. So if you're a Samsung Galaxy user, this is going out to every Galaxy user out there. And most of you don't even know that this is sitting there and that is the Google Play system update. Now I've talked about the Google Play system update in the past where the most important thing I was trying to mention is that you have to go through this update one, two, three, sometimes even four updates to get it to its latest version. Now this time I wanna share it with you from a different aspect because this is more important than you think because this update is actually larger than the last updates that I've seen. So in today's video, I'll share with you exactly what the Google system update is, all the different areas that it improves going from the Google Play Store, Google Play Services, the Android operating system, it's helping out with your phone, the OS, it helps with system management, network usage, device connectivity, security, stability, so many things. That is going from that Google Play system, Google Play Store, Google Play Services. So maybe you've done this in the past, but you never really knew exactly what you were updating. So that is why I wanna share with you today. So we'll go through what it is, what's being fixed, what is actually being new, as well as where you can find this area right here, which is underneath your software information for Google Play System Update. Again, most people either forget or they don't even know it's sitting there. So first off, the Google System Updates make your Android device more secure and reliable and give you new and useful features. They include updates from Google to the Android operating system, the Google Play Store, and Google Play Services. The Google System Updates are available for phones, tablets, Android TV, Google TV devices, Android Auto, Wear OS, and Chrome OS devices. So you'll see like new features, optimizations, there's also improvements all the time with the Play Protect, as well as various performance optimizations, bug fixes, and improvements to security, stability, and accessibility. And that is where this one is very important versus some of the past that I've seen. So this is everything for this May update. It was just launched yesterday on May 29th, and the recording of this video is May 30th. So you can see right there what it will be fixing. So these ones there are for phone. That one is for phone and Wear OS. Then you also have auto, PC, phone, TV, and Wear OS. So let's go through what is brand new, and then I'll show you where you can find that update and get it updated. So for the first category, this is the Google Play System Update. And so both of these are for your phone. So it updates to system management services that improve device connectivity, network usage, security, stability, and updatability. So if you're having any issues with connectivity, security, or trying to update your phone, this is one of the areas that will improve that and also get it fixed. Also, bug fixes for system management and diagnostics related services. So for the next category is the Google Play Store. This one was updated a couple days ago on the 27th. With this new feature, you'll get more time to complete your stamp cards to earn rewards. And in the events and offers section of the, de of the details and search results pages, you'll find a new content format. And then for Google Play services, this one was from May 22nd. So bug fixes for account management related services. This is for your phone and Wear OS. This feature adds new functionality to app activity, allowing parents to monitor children's app usage across different time limit settings. For developer services, with cross-device services, you can now switch between devices on video calls and apps like Google Meet. For device connectivity, with cross-device services, you'll see a new setting screen that will make it easier for you to find and use cross-device features, security and privacy for your phone. With this new feature, you can now securely share your passwords with your family group in Google Password Manager. When you share a password, your family members will receive a copy of it in their Google Password Manager and then ready to be used. For utilities, these are both for phone. With updates to autofill, you can see your card name in the payment card suggestions. And with updates to autofill, you can see your card art and the payment card suggestions. And for the system management, this is for auto, PC, phone, TV, and where updates to system management services that improved device storage. So what's wild about this update and what actually now finally makes sense as to why sometimes you do two or three or four updates when it comes down to getting to the latest version. And that is because they push off updates every single week. Now, I only read everything from May that goes all the way down to right here. And then this is where I stopped. There's actually so much more going on with the Google Play Store, the Play Services, Android TV Core Services, WebView, the Play Services, and just keeps going on and on and on. 
because they send updates out every single week and they just keep on compiling. And now here you can see this is where April, March, February, and January are. So everything right here is for this update we're speaking about, which is for May. Now, as I stated at the beginning of this video, if you would like to read the rest of it, because I didn't go through this full entire page, I'll place this link below the video inside the description. You can take a look at it for yourself. Now, in order for you to find this update, you want to go inside of your settings, go all the way down where it says about phone. And then underneath about phone, this is where you find software information and it's sitting right here, which is the Google Play system update. Now this one will probably say around 80 or 90 megabytes. This one's 96 megabytes, which is fairly large. Uh, again, like I said from before, it's larger than some of the other updates that I've done in the past. And we're gonna see if it only takes one update from here or if it takes several. Also, sometimes when you do this download of the update, it might restart your phone, but then you have to go back to actually get it installed. So it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy has promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now let's go take a look at the version of the Google Play system update just to make sure that we have the latest version or if we have to do it a few more times. So again, inside of settings, go back down to about phone. And then you go inside of your software information and it looks as if we have the latest version right here. So this one went literally from January 1 to May 1st when it comes down to the Google Play system update. And as I said from before, always give it a check to see if there's another one that you'd have to do. So luckily with this video here and for this update, I only have to do it the one time. Sometimes you have to do it two or three. So maybe when it comes down to the Galaxy S24 series, we were always given only January 1st when it comes down to the Google Play system update. And now is the first time that there was an update being pushed out to these devices, which is May 1st. Again, another reason why, especially for the Galaxy S24 users, this is one of the most important updates that you could probably do on your phone to make sure that you have the best connectivity, reliability, and everything else when it comes down to connectivity, security, and accessibility, anything that you may run into. It has now been optimized, all the bugs have been fixed, is, or fixed and everything has been improved. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Hopefully you found it to be at least a little helpful. If you did, give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.